Welcome back to Cage Combat Championship Global Proving Grounds. Three, Andy Manis and Aaron Hathcock sitting ringside, getting ready for our sixth fight of the night. Code Curtis Doner making his way to the ring right now, fighting out of the blue corner. My name's Curtis Doner, uh, originally a 55-pounder. I'm up to 170 and fight out of Salina, Ohio. Big submissions, uh, private gym out of St. Mary's, Ohio. Uh, I live about 10 minutes away from it, so it's an easy drive for me and work hard every day and don't take uh, it's a great stress reliever. Having bad days at work, you get going to the gym and punch people in the face. I have family and friends coming from Salina, Ohio to this fight, so I got a good fan base that follows me and they're with me 100%, so just come out and if you're looking for a show, I'm a good one. Uh, man, quite a, su a, a surprise decision in that last fight, Aaron. Uh, not the way we had it scored at all. Now, obviously, you and I were shocked, um, especially unanimous decision. Um, you know, at, at first when Billy Lamb announced a majority decision, that means that the three judges didn't agree. Absolutely. And one judge would have had the fight scored for Wa or, uh, Chitwood and two for Walker, but as he corrected himself and it was a unanimous decision, all three judges saw that fight differently than you and I. And it would be interesting to see the scorecards and see if it was the first round or the second round. Um, that Walker won indeed. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, really, when you think, it, Walker had to have won the first two because there's no way any of those judges had him winning that third and I final agree. round. I so agree. So the, the first two rounds had to be the ones that the, the ones that the judges saw that Walker uh, won. In and that. obviously so, it was it – was, with, with Walker on the outside and being active may have been seen as more aggressive sure. than you and I saw the fight. Um, but, you know, that's why I'm not a judge. That's why you're not a judge. That's why we get to sit over here and just talk about these things. Absolutely. I, I'm glad that these fighters' fates don't rest in my hands. I, I, I'll be honest with you. And uh, now we've moved to the portion of the card where we have five-minute rounds. So each of these fighters is going to have a little bit longer to showcase his skills as we go forward from here. That's right. Curtis Doner in the ring right now. He is uh, fighting out of the blue corner. You see our referee talking to him right now. And, Andy, that's pretty significant when you think about a fight that goes three rounds. Up until now, we've seen three-minute rounds, and those two guys that fought to a decision fought nine minutes in the cage. If you these go guys from nine fight to, to 15. A, yes, sir. Six minutes in that cage seems like an eternity. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. Josh Hudson making his way to the ring right now. There you see he's wearing the red trunks, white trim. Josh Hudson, 170 pounds, and I'm a freestyle fighter out of Batesville, Arkansas. My coach is Matt Sellers. I train out of Without Women's MMA in Batesville, Arkansas. I fight because it keeps me in shape. It's uh, something that I've always done. It's just fun for me. So this, the support's what it's all about. The support is everything. So, you know, when, before your fight, when you walk around and you see your friends and family there, you know what you're fighting for. Appreciate it, everybody. And, uh, man, been a, been a great card so far. It has not disappointed, uh, and it never does anytime Global Proving Grounds no. I, and I AA Productions team up. I don't think you and I have ever been to a AA Productions fight, and now that they've teamed up with Global Proving Grounds, especially I know here in the B.C. Lloyd building where we have walked away disappointed. No, not at all. Not at all. We have uh, we always get our money's worth, that's for sure. So there's uh, a lot of energy being shown there by Hudson as he enters the ring. Nice little sprint around the hexagon. And uh, we'll see if that energy is going to translate the into, into shuffle, his maybe? game. I, I guess that's what you can call it. I guess that's what you can call it. All right. I, and, again, three five-minute rounds. We've, we've had, up until this point, three three-minute rounds. We're upping it to five minutes now for our final right, four fights. Send it down to Billy Lynch. Commission. This is Curtis Doner. And his opponent in the red corner. From without limits, Josh Hudson. All right, Josh Hudson fighting out of the red corner and out of the blue corner, Curtis Doner. Fighters touch gloves in the middle of the ring. Now they will bow to each other as is customary for global proving grounds. And Aaron, we're set. Here we go. First five minute round fight of the night. And here we go. Fighters will come out. 
Not touching gloves here uh, at the beginning like we've seen so far tonight. Well, these guys did the bow and showed the respect, they but they came out Woo! like they mean business. A little Muay Thai clinch with some knees right there from Hudson. Hudson. Oh, and a big But a big slam. slam from Donner. Immediately to side control, and Hudson gets his knee up to try to keep Donner away from him just a little bit as they go to the ground. Well, and Hudson has got a nice lock there around the head of, of Donner as well. So, And that's just to try to keep Donner up close to him and have a little bit of control. But – is Donor. Donor cut? I believe Donor's cut. Well, Donor not only did he catch a couple of knees, or that may be a that may be a, a, nose. a nose, right? That's a bloody nose because not only did he catch a couple of knees, he definitely caught a kick, uh, the opening kick to the head mm -hmm. from Hudson. So, but I think you're right. I think that Muay Thai clinch from Hudson and those two knees before the slam may have done some damage to Donor's nose. So to me, it looks like Hudson is going to be trying to t trying to take advantage of a of a height and a in a reach. Um, Curtis Donor, I think, is definitely going to have an, an advantage in the weight. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a little bit of advantage in the weight. He's a little bit stockier. So, but we're going to see if he can get inside Hudson right now. We've already seen he's got the strength. Donor just picked Hudson up a, a moment ago and slammed him home. So but we'll see if, if that continues. Absolutely. And we talked about it earlier, Andy, in a previous fight where if you have trouble breathing through your nose, you're going to have to breathe through your mouth. And you can see glimpses of Donor's mouthpiece right there. Ooh, it's but it's over. It's done. Lights. Out. Hudson's mouthpiece is out. That, and Hudson right now is actually arguing with the referee. He's saying, I'm fine. I'm fine. But the referee called it. Oh, wow. Lights out. Another knockout, Andy. Two minutes and 40 seconds gone by. Here in round number one, Josh Hudson has just been KO'd. Short right-handed hook from Curtis Doner. And Josh Hudson's night is over. Donor had his nose bloodied and all. He still comes out the winner. We're going to send it down to Billy Lamb and then kick it over to Aaron Hathcock for a word with our winner. And your winner in the blue corner, Peak Submissions, Curtis Donner! Let's talk to our winner, Curtis Donner. Curtis, right there at the beginning of the fight, it looked like you may have taken some damage to your nose with those knees from the clinch, but then you finished it. Tell us about the end of the fight. Uh, I just listened to my trainer. We are going over in the back about, you know, recently going pro. In Ohio, we're not allowed throwing elbows. And just listened to him, and he said it was open, and I threw it over top, and lights out. So you were looking for that <laughs> from the beginning of the fight, right? Uh, I was actually waiting for him to head kick me, but he kneed me in the nose, and it kind of got a little bit messed up. But. <laughs> All right, Curtis. Congratulations, man. Everybody give it up for Curtis Donor. Curtis Donor, the winner of our sixth fight of the evening. Winner at the two-minute, 40-second mark in the first round via KO. And there you heard him say he threw a bow from, from my uh, perspective. It looked like he had thrown like a short hook and maybe caught Hudson right on the chin, but it was, in fact, an elbow. And that is legal here in the state of Arkansas. So uh, getting away with something here he can't get away with in his hometown of Ohio, a little elbow in there. Well, and, you know, we talked about that early in the fight, that as we move to these fights toward the end of the card, that the knees and elbows that were not legal in the beginning were going to be legal as long as your opponent's not grounded. And we just saw it right there. And another interesting note that I talked to Curtis Donor after my interview was that this was his pro debut. So what a way to come out in Paragould, Arkansas at the B.C. Lloyd Building and win your pro, your first pro fight with an elbow knockout. No doubt about it. Got to be a great feeling for Curtis Donor. Winner again over Josh Hudson getting set for our uh, seventh fight of the evening. Lupe Hudgens finally getting to see in action one of our international fighters 
all the way from Russia. This guy is a member of the Russian Army. He was a uh, a Russian, Russian Army, Army combative, combative, combative champion. champion for the wow. last three years running. This just in. Wow. Alexander I Keshtov, welcome to Paragold, Arkansas. We'll tell you all about him here in just a moment. And uh, actually, we will. We'll step aside for a quick break. They're going to clean up the ring, get the blood uh, all, all wiped up for our next fight. We'll tell you about the uh, Russian sensation making his way to Paragold here in just a minute. Back after this on Tooth Town Channel 21.